everybody. This is Beryl from Beryl's Business Kitchen. BBK Mentoring, as most of you will know. I'm here to, sorry, I was just sitting down on my chair. I thought, we're going to talk about why blog posts are important in 2020. I've been part of a workshop over the last few weeks and I've been teaching SEO, SEO optimization and how we can make us be better seen on Google. Anyway, it's, a lot of it's come down to blog posts. So people are saying to me, blog posts is dead. I don't want to do blog posts. Blog posts, blog posts take too much time. Why should I do them and things like that? So today I thought I would give you five of my reasons why I blog post. I blog post, I blog, and why I put them up. In my list, I've put SEO down as number four, but these are just, these are my personal reasons on why I like to do it. So come on, come on a story. I'm Beryl, I'm from BBK Mentoring. I help business over, businesses overcome their fears and limitations and strive to become a better business and a better person through neuro coaching. Okay, anyway, let's go. Number one, by the way, I'm reading my list, so bear with me. Number one, a place to safely express my views. Everything we learn these days is determined by what we think is correct and what we think is not correct. I know for a fact that there are always all these to's and from's on everything that you do within it, especially within SEO. And the reason I'm sort of emphasizing the SEO part of it is you want to do Google so that Google will find you. So therefore, I'm going to keep referring back to SEO and the importance of it. So, so I want to express my views and I can do that freely on my own blog post. And I'm not saying I'm going to become political or religious or anything like that. It's my views based on my business and the, the way I coach and try and encourage my clients to come with me on a journey this is how I do it. So, oh, by the way, we are having our little cup of tea together. And yes, I do know it's, it's a cuppa with Beryl. If you've got a coffee, please grab your coffee. We're in for some interesting information. Number two is it improves my skills. I think you should learn something new every day. So as I'm blog posting, I will do research. And when I do research, I learn one new thing. If I could learn one new thing, I might know 5% of what I need to know before I die because every time I turn around, there's more information to be found. So it encourages my skills to be better so that I can help you do what you need to do in your business. So it's I have to give the best advice to my my um, clients that I can possibly give, especially within business mentoring. So blog posting and things like that help me help you. And that's what it's about. Number three on the list is, and it's sort of connected with, it improves my skills, it improves my coaching exponentially, but it keeps me learning. So therefore I learn one more thing. I like learning one more thing. And that's what it's about. So I think to me, if you don't keep learning, I think there was a quote somebody by somebody, if you don't keep learning, you're dead. So isn't that an interesting way that some people, I should actually look. If I find the quote, I'll put the information in my comments in my Facebook. So, but another thing is, guess what? If you blog post, you are creating SEO content. In that SEO content, you are creating a way for Google to find you. What? Put in the chat. What happens if Google doesn't find you guys? Put in the chat. I think this is a pretty obvious answer for those that are watching me and things like that. Just tell me what is going to happen if Google doesn't find you? Well, guess what? I've put down here. I've put out the positive reasons. I could give you negative reasons as well, but Google can find me. Customers will find me because they've found, they've gone for a search for me on Google. I have a profitable business. I make money. I'm happy. 
black and white. Isn't that what we all want when we do our create our business plans? We we want to have a profitable business that will absolutely absolutely that will allow us to to have the life that we want to live. I know it's a bit cliche to say, "Hey, let's let's run our come let's run our business from a beach." Some people are doing it. I personally would prefer to go on a holiday and run the business from my office, but that's my personal choice. But I'd also like to go on 20 holidays a day a year. That also is my choice. By the way, I don't get to go on 20 holidays a year, but we're allowed to dream. This makes me feel better and makes my thoughts think of what else I can do. So fifth thing on the list is I own my blog. Have you heard it? And I know anybody that's here has been on those business groups where they say, my Instagram page, my Facebook page has been blocked. What do I do? That is the worst. If you've written a blog on this, you will. Hi, Tracy. We're talking about blogging. Blog is blogging dead. And why blogging is the reasons why we still should blog today. At the moment, I'm up to number five. I own my blog. I own the words I've written on that blog. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I've done some selling on Amazon, eBay. They can't blacklist me. They can't block my site because this is my work. So I dare say if I did something rude, then or broke, you know, broke the law or something. That's not what I'm saying. I'm allowing myself to have my opinion. So this is where blogging becomes important. And again, let's go back to, and I know I keep referring to it, SEO. If you, to external links to your Facebook page and your Instagram page, that gives you better SEO. That is really, really important. I've got an example here, which I'm going to read. A client of mine is in the photography industry. So it's fairly, photography can be quite cutthroat. And she said she is an avid blogger. And when she asks how, she asks all her clients, sorry, I've written this really badly. So if I wrote it right, I would be able to read it properly, but that's okay. You get to see the real me. She asks the client, all her clients, when they ring up, how did you find me? They said, Google search. I found your blog because she'd been ranked with the SEO on Google. Now, for all those people out there that want facts and figures, in this case, over a four-year period, she found four new, uh, 50, over four years, she found 50 new clients. How much money is 50 new clients, especially when you think of packages in the photography industry? That is a lot of money that you could be wasting down the drain. Tracy is say, saying here, I'm ashamed to admit I don't even know what SEO is. I need help. Well, Tracy, I'm here for you. I was talking to Jess this morning. We're going to get on to blog posting, SEO, and how to optimize it. So, Hold your, hold your, what is it? Hold your horses and we're going to go on an adventure together. So have look out because Jess is going to start talking to you. So, but the other thing that a lot of people don't realize what they can do with blogging is you can make micro stories on Instagram. The only reason I would not like this, because if Instagram closes down your Facebook page, you don't. AC, Tracy just sent me a little ha ha face. Thank you, Tracy. If they change, close down your account, you can't get that information back. So you have to wait for them. And I've heard of, I can give you ex examples in the e commerce industry where I know somebody that was putting through, and I know these are big figures, and I don't know how true the figures are because a lot of people on um, Amazon do exaggerate their figures, but they're making a hundred thousand a month just on Amazon. This is a good example. They broke one of Amazon's terms and conditions. They only had their product on Amazon. 
they lost all that work for a month while Amazon had decided to sort out the account and say, oh, you did nothing wrong. The problem with that is, especially within the Amazon market, you've got to then re-engage your audience because otherwise you're, you're falling off the head list. People don't know you're there anymore. So um, Tiff was saying, I avoid SEO too. So even, I know it's called something different in Amazon and eBay. I will be the first one to, but it's still optimizing, optimizing your site so that people can find you. It doesn't matter what search engine you're using, you need to be found because no, no, no eyes on you means no money, which means no company, which means you might as well go and work for somebody else. That is how important SEO is, work, is for you. So um, I hope Tracy and Tiff brought their cup of tea with them because I've got mine. I just need to take a mouthful. Probably the other thing I like about it with blogging is it's telling stories, especially micro blogging on Instagram. You can tell stories in less words so that the, your customers, your clients, by the way, Customers, clients, perfection, all these people, they're all the same things. I'm ready for bed. I'm not sure what time it is in America, but Tracy's from bed. What time is it over there, Tracy? I'm not sure. I'm a bit confused. And I get so confused with time zones. But you can tell stories on blogs. Tiff is telling me she's got soup. I've got a cup of tea. That's okay. I'm sorry, Tracy. We're up to lunchtime. So it's only lunchtime here. It is five to one. So remember, when you tell, uh, tell things on a blog post, you then can share that information through Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. What's another one I've put down? Facebook. I forgot about Facebook. Pity I'm talking on Facebook. There's always things that are an advantage to blog posts. So let's just go through five of the things why I blog post. Whether you want to take them on, I don't know. But number one, a safe place for me to express my views. I'm not going to do anything radical. I'm too much of a goody two shoes. I don't want to do radical things, but I want to, I want to help people. I want to help people get to the next level. So that's my job. Under you know, limiting beliefs, sometimes we can get a little some of those limiting beliefs by doing a blog post. I do my limiting beliefs in a journal. So, uh, improve my skills. Maybe I might want to write a book in the future. I'm not sure I would, but I'm already, I'm already collating the information I need to write a book for the future. Maybe that's what I'm using my blog post for. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to tell a story with photos, like um, the client of mine that's in the photography industry that got so many people by just being found through her blog post. It keeps me learning. I can keep teaching you what you need to learn because I think it's quite a bit of fun. I love learning this stuff and I love stats. So this, this stuff I can be quite statistical with, which helps me. SEO, number four on the list is SEO, Google will find me. If Google doesn't find me, I don't have a business. So therefore, like I said, Google can find me, customers can find me, I will have a profitable business, black and white. Because people are learning to know, like, and trust me because I'm giving them valuable information that is good for them. It's not about me. It's about you. It really is about you. So um, the third, the fifth and final thing that I think is so important is I own my blog. I own the platform. I own my URL. I own where it is. Nobody can blacklist me, none of the platforms. Eventually, like I've written here, blogging keeps your content as the different social media platforms move on or morph into something, something else that may not allow you to have your blog up there anymore. So you lose your audience, you lose your niche market, you lose the people that have got eyes on you. You can take your blogs to Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and all the others that I can't think of at the moment. There is a lot of them. But, and work to the best of your ability, 
but you will always own that information on your website. So anyway, it's time for me to finish my cup of tea, move over to lunch because it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch together. But I would like to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me, Tracy and Tiff. Thank you for joining me, everybody else. If you've got any questions and you would like me to help you through the process of learning um, SEO and things like that, DM me. I would love to talk to you. Anyway, this is Beryl from BBK Mentoring saying stay home, stay safe, and soon we'll be out on the other side of this. And love to you all. We're going to work together. Come on, let's make a business together. Bye for now. Bye. <music>